You know, it's a funny thing how our mind works. Because originally, before I was even going to do this review, I'm like, huh, I haven't done a book review, and I didn't really even think I was going to ever do one. I mean, maybe cover some comic book arcs and talk about, you know, characters' involvement in certain stories, but never really a book review. I had one idea, but that never happened just because I never got around to it. But as I was preparing for this review, I realized I'm like, wait, no, I did kind of do a book review because I ranked all the Rick Riordan books, at least the ones that were Greek, Norse, and Roman mythology stories. So I guess I have, in essence, done book reviews before. So shows how much I actually don't remember even on my own channel. But originally I was going to start and review this book before the Batman, which is the prequel to the Batman movie that came out this year. And I just figure now it's come and gone, it's old news, but really briefly, this book is okay. It's, if you want more story for the Batman, sure, pick it up. It's pretty cheap. It's a very easy read. It's short, it's quick, but I wanted more. It's very, very thin as you can see. So there's really not much story in here for me. I wanted a lot more story about Bruce growing up. I wanted more about Edward Nigma. I mean, some of the stuff they say in here is good, but it would be nice to have a little bit more elaboration. But that being said, you get what you get. It's short, it's a quick read. If you're interested, sure, I'd pick it up, but maybe wait until you can get it for less than $10 or so, um, unless you really, really want it. But that being said, this was what I was going to start with. But that movie came and went, and I was like, I don't think anybody really cares about that anymore. Well, I recently, a couple months ago, bought another graphic novel, or in this case, a manga. And I just got around to reading the first volume of it. And I loved it. So much so that I went out that very same day, bought the next volume, and I finished that the following day. And what was that manga? Well, if you read the title of this video, you know, but it was Deadpool Samurai. Yes. Deadpool Samurai. So, why did I think this was so good? And should you pick this up and read it, especially if you're a Deadpool fan? Well, you're going to have to stick around and see. This is my book review for Manga Deadpool Samurai. So first off, why did I even bother grabbing these? I mean, I'm not one to just go and randomly grab a book usually. Either has to be something I really want, something for a collection, or something I'm actually looking for. Well, this one, I just randomly picked up because I saw, like I said, Deadpool Samurai. That just sounds cool and strange and weird enough that it's like, I gotta know what this book is about. I gotta know what this manga is all about. And right from the front, you can see this one is his red suit with the black eyes. And the second one is his X-Force, which I think is really cool that they did two different Deadpool suits. But if you look at it even closer, let me get up here, you'll see that they actually made the red, all these different Deadpool images and the black too. And they did the same thing here, what upside down, which I think is really cool too. It's just fun. This is something I feel like Deadpool would do. He put his image all over these books. So, like I said, these, well, this one was a random pickup, I'm showing you the back. And yeah, this was really good. I got this easily done in a day. That's definitely a good thing about it. It's a quick, easy read, but it's fun. Now, I will say, if you go into this thinking you're going to get the R-rated Deadpool with all the swear words and the nudity, you're not going to get that. 
because while they do allow more things in Japan, they, they're they not as strict with that stuff as we are over here. At least, especially if you compare things like Super Sentai to Power Rangers, you'll see a big difference. It's just not in here, really. Some things are implied, like um, there's a character in here that becomes part of the Samurai Squad. Yep, I want to make sure I got that right. And there's some things that happen to her that definitely insinuates a fan wanting to do certain things or yeah let's just leave it at that trying not to go too vivid but it's great i mean this is deadpool <laughs> both of these books are so deadpool they sound like the character it feels like they came right out of the comic books that we read here it's right on par. I can imagine Ryan Reynolds saying some of this stuff. I can imagine these being uh, anime, kind of like how they did one for um, Iron Man, X-Men, Wolverine, Blade. I think that was it. I feel like this could have been one too. But there's a lot of, well... There's a few Marvel characters in here, which is interesting how they use them. You do get a bunch of cameos from people, especially the villains. And Deadpool just, he lets them have it. He actually lets Japan have it. And, um, I mean, you don't have to be a huge manga or anime fan to get some of the references in here. Most of them are rather simple. They don't go too over your head. If you know nothing about anime or manga, you might not get them or you might not understand them. But if you have a smidget, a smidget of understanding, you will should be able to get most of these references. For example, there's talks about Piccolo, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, it's in here. There's um, this guy. Um, I forget what his name is. It's like Mighty Man or something, but it's from My Hero Academia. I don't watch the show, but I, I know the name of the show. They talk about show and jump in here. They talk about just so many things, Japan, and it's great. It's great how Deadpool rips it apart. He makes fun of it, but all in his own style. There's so much fourth wall breaking in these books it's just it's great it's to the point that there's one thing they do and he's like okay i can finally do this i can't do it in my own comics but we've got the budget and we're gonna do it and obviously they don't do it but it's so well written at least for a comic book that you actually believe well wait did they actually figure out a way to do this maybe there was something you could have gotten that would have worked but it, it's just that good it makes you feel like oh if i actually do this thing this other thing will happen but it doesn't i love how they make fun of some of the ripoff characters like basically all the characters they create for this are ripoff characters from marvel but it's like okay it makes sense there's so many of this one type of character of course there's going to be a japan version of it um i think maybe subtly they're making fun of things that we've taken from them like their anime we bring it over here and we love it might be something like that or how we change things i'm not entirely sure maybe i'm trying to put too much to the script or to the writers who knows but it's funny it's engaging there's this one point just to give you an example of how great some of this weird humor is, there's a point where Deadpool just lets a guy have it. He just brings his katanas and phew, off with his head. He's like, oh, this is going to be an awesome scene. I can't wait to let our illustrators, our drawers, they're going to have so much fun with this. And you turn to the next page, and it's basically a full page of black with the guy's head and a little bit up here in the corner. 
as if to say, hey, we splattered the page with blood. And you turn it, and Deadpool goes, he says something like, really? Okay, I, I thought it was going to be a little more dramatic, or I feel bad for people. I love how he actually interacts more here with the writers of the manga. I mean, I know he did that in our comics, but for some reason, it just feels like he does it here more. Maybe it's because the comics of Deadpool I've read recently just don't feel as funny, don't feel as engaging, don't feel as fourth wall breaking as this does. But it's, I love the names of some of these characters and they even make fun of it. They're like, uh, we're just going to call you this because I'm going to butcher that name. <laughs> Deadpool says that. Um, you do have to read these from the opposite way if you've never read a manga. So you read where we read from left to right. Here you read right to left. And actually at the end here, they actually have a Deadpool thing talking about, hey, you're reading the wrong way. So that's, I mean, they do that on all the books, but for some reason it's just funnier when Deadpool says it. But yeah, these books are hilarious. I highly recommend them. If you're not sure, get the first one. There's only two of them. And I can almost guarantee you, you will be hooked and you want to finish reading it. Because it's just so good. They're easy to get through. They're enjoyable. You'll laugh out loud. I had to control my laughter because I read these while I was on break at work. So I couldn't really, you know, let out all my laughter. People would look at me weird. I mean, they already think I'm weird, but that's beside the point. Um, but yes, I highly, highly recommend Deadpool Samurai. Even if you've never read a manga, you've never watched an anime, if you know anything about Deadpool and you like Marvel, I definitely recommend these. They're funny, engaging, hilarious, they're violent, they're everything you want from Deadpool. And I would actually love to see this made into an anime. I think that would be hilarious. And probably a lot better than some of the ones that are based on characters I've seen. Like Batman Ninja. And yeah, that wasn't that great, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and I do love at the end of this one, Volume 2. I'm not going to spoil it. But the twist and what they do, it's great. Especially if you know some of Deadpool's history and things he's done in the past in the Marvel Universe. So, again reiterating, highly, highly recommend Deadpool Samurai. They're quick, they're fun, they're engaging. If you love Marvel, if you love Deadpool, you gotta pick these up. These are hilarious. And to be honest, they're a lot better than this one. So yeah. Deadpool Samurai comes highly recommended from me. But what do you think? Is this the first you're hearing of this series? Or by chance have you read it? If so, what did you think of it? Am I giving this way too much praise? Is it not as great as I think it is or as funny as I think it is? I'll admit, maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I just had a lot of fun with it. I think part of the key for me though was I didn't know what to expect with this. Maybe I wasn't expecting a lot, but these are great. But if you haven't read them, does this review make you want to go out and pick up one or both of them? Whatever your thoughts, comment down, down below. Let me know. And don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to read what you love, enjoy what you love, and let's all work for a better fandom. I'll see you next time. And where is my chimichanga?